Hello, Nate here, and welcome back to more Paper Mario on your door. Last time, we made it to the Partially Sanctum, got the star, and now we're, made, we're back here. We, we made it back, and we're about to talk to Luigi and hear his story. Yeah, what a way to start the video. If you don't care about this, skip ahead. Well, guess, well, guess what, bro? I found an option that's ruins, bro. Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Not gonna do his voice for this, as always. But like I said, it's a ring song story. So here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the doomed rap rapturous ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became the walls. Proceeding de dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached a boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry, but that he'd wake for a child of fate. That he wait for a child of fate? That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his, his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the lost the, I learned that the boy was the last of the an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been their garden, the gar marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with power to see into the future. An ancient love empire used power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their entire empire collapsed. The, pr to, prevent a to prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He, he hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero awoke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me. And then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that compass, when I added that piece to the compass, it pointed north, far north, where a dreaded hate song tower stands. This time I heard Princess Declare, this time I heard Princess Declare's voice more clearly than before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super, and then I'll, 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 well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rumport after that. I'm making my final preparations for the final battle now. I'm a little bit nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. All right. Cool. All right, Goombella, who the heck is this little cream puff looking guy? That's Luigi's pal, Screamy. Screamy, Screamy, Creeps me out. I've never seen anyone like that. Where's he from? Um, that's kind of racist, Goombella. Um, I'm Screamy. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. Or I must deliver something. Ooh, oh man, I saw his um, expressions there. Look at his new expressions. Look at that. Very angry. All right. Now we can freaking get a move on. So it is a new day, so I'm going to check out the lottery. Oh, uh, nothing. So there are a few things we can do now that we have the super jump. And one of those things, I believe, is down here. Yes, 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 down here. Yep, so if we head on this way in the underground area, we'll find uh, a, tri a drippy pipe somewhere. Oh, uh, here it is, up here. So we want to head up here, and then see where the water is dripping. Definitely want to do our jump. And then boom, we're up here, and then we can get something very cool. I think it's just a star piece, like right here. What? Huh? Oh, down here. Oh, okay. We want to hit this. Perfect. And that gives us a shine sprite. All right, went ahead and bought some of these badges, and I only got one star piece left. Which is pretty cool. So this is what I bought. Never going to use any of these. But hey, 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 hey. I have gotten some sound effects badges. I've never even really put some of these on. So this one makes you hammer sound mousy. It sounds like this. Very adorable. But then this one makes your sound effects attack sound weirdy. Weird? That is pretty weird. Oh yeah, off camera I got slow go, like bef before I started last chapter. But I don't know why you would want to put this on unless you want to play like 
If you want to add the hard mode, equip double pain, unsimplifier, and slow go, and boom, you got hard mode for the game and your patience. So if we come back up here, there's actually a little gap right here. We can use our Yoshi buddy, Joey, jump across and get the star P. What? Hidden block? What? Why would we want to come over here? There's something hidden here. Wait, hang on. I got it. Right, right. Miss Mouse. What? There's something here. Tell me where, where it is. Oh, it's to the right. It's to the right. Right here. Where is it? To the right. Okay, okay, okay. Where is it? To the left. Is it? So it's like right here somewhere. Yeah. Dang, where is this thing? What? Is it in this back corner? Oh, wait, is there a star piece back there? Like back here? Oh. Oh, wait, hang on. Is she smelling? Oh, no, she's not smelling anything in the shop. What the heck is she smelling? There it is. Dang. It's, it's Power Plus P. Dang, that was freaking hard to find. I got like a bunch of Power Plus P's now. How many do I have? I think I have like three or four. I have freaking three. Gosh, dang, I could like just do this if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. If we come over here, you may notice there's a treasure chest up there. But then there's also a cracked wall. But how do we get up there? Well, we come over this way. And cool things will happen. We can climb onto this little pipe up here. Little thing here. And then, of course, blow up the wall from the back. And, uh, and, and there, we, yeah, there we go. And that gives us access to this treasure chest. And what's inside? I don't remember. Defend plus P. Also, if we come back this way, of course, there is another side to this pole. So if we follow the pole to the other side, we can go all the way back there in the background. I don't remember what's back there at all, but I guess I'll find out. I don't remember. I don't. I actually don't remember what's back there. As soon as I go in there, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna remember. But right now, I don't remember. Okay, what's in here? Oh. It's just a just a star piece. It's just the star piece taking a quick nap. And it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Unless, hang on, of course we gotta use Miss Mouse, of course. Just in case. Nothing. Well, we did get some shine sprites. So, how many do we have? We have seven. We can power up some more partners. Blurry and Vivian. Now we only need, I think there are only two more shine sprites left in the world. And that and those go to Miss Mouse. I don't remember if we have access to those at the moment. I don't know. Why does it lag every time we come out the door? Freaking weird. Anyway. Now something there is something else important we can finally do. This whole game. This giant treasure chest right here. It's always been taunting us the whole game, but now we can finally get it. And what's in here? Well, something special. The Ultra Hammer. It's Toadette. Oh my goodness. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. So nice to see you again. We had a funny Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's press it right away. It's just... It's just like with the super hammer, so no prob. Hold down B, rotate blah, until your body goes twisty. Then release blah, use your old hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing. Yeah. Way to go, you got it. Are you clear the controls? Yep. All right, you've mastered the ultra hammer. And now we can break the metal blocks. Use your ultra hammer, you can break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, but the method I just taught you would break bigger things, okay? And you can use the ultra hammer in battle too. Oh, oh she's so sad. Um, this is kinda of sad, but this is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach and be careful in your quest, okay? No. 
No, Toadette, don't go. No. Oh my god. Uh. Now we are ultra powerful. I can't wait to see how much damage I do now. Heck yeah. Castaways returned from Ke the cursed Ke island of Kielke with treasure, maybe. Castaways are. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. So now. Here, I think this guy has a W. Yeah, there it is. W emblem. I think this is the last badge that this guy sells. I bought all the other ones. So if we buy that, I can actually show this off. So if we buy, if you put on the L emblem, you like Luigi. And of course, if you put on the W emblem, you like Wario. But what happens if you put them both on? Well, you look like Luigi. Man, when I played this game for the first time as a kid, I freaking loved this purple and black look, so I just played the rest of the game just like this. But, we are Mario, not Waluigi. We're gonna play as Mario. Oh, there's another sound badge here. Attack effects R. Make sure it's attack sounds Bowser E. In case you like Bowser that much. So I believe that's all the things we can do with our new ability, I think that's everything we can do now. But we have unlocked more troubles. And this one right here, security code, is important. I believe this is where we get the hot sauce to make more recipes. This is from the businessman, from the train, if you remember. I forgot my code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand in Glitzville. Want to take on his businessman trouble? Heck yeah. And there he is. Hey, buddy. Ah, you're that fellow. So... You're the one I accepted my quest? Here, well, here's the thing. I forgot the code to, to, on the, for the lock of my briefcase, and the prototype of our company's new product is inside. This is a big deal. If I don't figure out how to get into that briefcase, I'll be sacked for sure. About that brief code, briefcase code. See, I'm a real chair fanatic. Yeah, like anything you sit on. I used the number of chairs and houses I visited on business as, a, as the code. Don't judge me. I know it's weird. You gotta visit those places and count the chairs. The code has four digits. So there are locations. So here are the locations of the chairs. Ready? First is Coop's house in Petalburg. Flurry's house in Bogley Woods. Don Pianta's office in Roport. And Toodle's house in Poshley Heights. Oh, and I counted the sweet, sweet chair in her lovely garden as well. I know it's a lot, but please help. And remember, a chair is anything you sit on. Anything you sit on. All right, that is important. So, you know, I could just look it up and then just give him the code now. But where's the fun of that? I'm not, oh, no. I want to do it myself. I want to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself, guys. Oh, while I'm fast traveling to Petalburg, I can break this block now. Boom. And what do we get? We can get the FP Plus badge. Yeah. To Petalburg. I believe Cooch's, Coops' house is this one right here. So we got one, two. And that's it. I mean, you could uh, I tell you, you could technically sit on a table. You could sit, sit on the stairs, but no, just two. Two chairs here. All right, so we're now at Flurry's house. Did he say Flurry's house or Flurry's room? Uh, I'm going to assume house. So we got one, two, three. I'm going to assume the whole house. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. And of course, there's also a bed, but you know, that's a bed, not a chair. So in order to get to Parsley Heights, of course, we got to do Don Pianta's room and the Parsley Heights room. But I don't want to ride the whole train again. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this so that I can take the fast travel pipe down there. So we're going to put that triple on hold for a little bit. Figure out where the next star is. Could it be this time? The snow plays. No, the moon. You mean the one that floats up in the sky? Oh my god. Moon. 
The location of the crystal has been recorded in map. Whoa! No way! What's wrong with the map? The last creature star is... That ain't right! Um, I'm pretty sure it's right, Joey. Hmm. If what the map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is the moon. The moon? That's where Princess Peach is stuck. Yeah, remember? Seems suspicious, huh? Hmm. The problem is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Uh, look at it, just may take a little bit of time. So come back in a bit, all right? I remember this. When I, was, when I did this as a kid, I was like, oh, come on. I don't want to wait. But yeah, you do wait. You do have to wait a little bit. So while we wait, we can actually finish doing what we were doing. But also, we got to look at what the what this email is that we just got from Zip, Zip Toad. Oh, uh, and another email as well. From last episode. Okay, hang on. What do you make sure and probably special? What lies in a pit of a hundred trials? Fabled fabled creatures spotted. Earlier this morning we received a report that a mysterious creature has taken up residence deep in the pit of a hundred trials. According to rumor to be a layer of an evil dragon. According to eyewitness, they sp that spotted it, part of it looked like a lot like a creature said to be extinct. We call upon our readers to send any additional information you might have, should you encounter it. There's no to any brave readers that wish to test their skills in a, hundred, in a pit of hundred trials, careful preparation must be, must is a must. Know our editorial department; it will be cheering you on. To any good little children who might be reading this, the pit of hundred trials is very dangerous. Don't go near it. But if you do, don't mention this loot matter. Must be report respect me. So I already I already did the I already did the pit of hundred trials before chapter three. <laughs> I know it was crazy, but. Let's see, uh, creature, mysterious creature taking up residence, already rumored to be a layer of evil dragon. Is this the thing I was talking about a few, like, la I think it was last episode, a few episodes ago about Wacko? I don't know. I don't know, but hey, what's up? Super Sleuth, I heard you got to uncover my imposter. You're the best, man, seriously. See, when you get to be as big a star as Zip Toad, there is source of thing these sorts of things happen all the time it's the biz but man alive for a no name like you you it's a brave danger if i'm my imposter reminds me of my young reminds me of a younger yet less successful me yeah so as for me i'm headed to toad town to film the next leading role the soon to be hit film on golden toad 2 it'll be huge i heard you're an adventurer or something like that so i'll leave you with a line from my last flick the toad warrior you're cool baby but I'm cooler. Best of luck, kid. Superstar reels it, Toad. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a little eggy boy. I think that's a reference to the, the very first Paper Mario game, I think. I've never played that one. But, hey. Anyway. Now, we can go to Pisley, uh, well, we can go to Posse Heights easier, but we gotta count the chairs and don't be on this room. So, how many chairs are in here? So, so far we got two, six, and two. And there is no chair back here. Hey, Frankie, how you doing? <laughs> we owe you big, Mario. We always see, we always seem to be in your debt, you know. <laughs> if there's anything done, the done beyond the the beyond the syndicate can do for you, just say the word. All right. So we got two six two, and now we gotta go punch that. So I'm in battle now. Before we go to punch the heights, we can see what our new movie is. So we got Super Hammer. Which is the thing we all know, but yeah, we got Ultra Hammer. So I can enemy knock it into all enemies behind it. Same as this, but stronger. Oh yeah. Now, we unlock the fast travel pipe of Poshley Heights. There are two ways to get there. Either we take the pipe, or we can ride the train again. Which, is, which I always thought was pretty cool that you can ride the train again. Oh yeah. Welcome to Bossley Heights. Hello everybody. How you doing? Hey, all the penguins here. Everyone's having a grand old time. Yeah, I really I really think there's something hidden here. 
Oh, I know. <laughs> Why didn't I do this before? Is there something hidden here, Mr. Mouse? Oh, there actually isn't. That's good to know. Yeah. So, if we head this way, we had a count of chairs in Toodle's house. So we got 262. Let's make sure there's nothing hidden here. Oh, there is something hidden here. Okay, okay. Where is it? Oh, uh, it must be behind the cart. Oh, it's the freaking end coupon. Ah, uh, no, it's trash. Miss Mouse, this is trash. We don't want that crud. So this is Toodle's house. How many chairs in here? So we got one, two, and then three, four. And then, of course, he said he counts his chair in the garden. So five. So it's six, two, no, it's two, six, two, five. That is the code. Oh, if you, if you remember, this girl's a Luigi fan. I think something special happens if we do something special. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose, because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday, neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never you'll never see another day just like today. Treat each day like it's unique. So if we remember, I, we, we talked to this girl in the last episode, I think. So we can be like, who is this? That's Tudia, Pasty Pasty Heights. He's been a lot of time thinking about this fountain. He's actually leading a double life as the secretary of, a, of the Luigi fan club. So if, I think something special happens. If we wear Luigi clothes and talk to her. Oh, never mind. Hey man, your passcode is 2625. Did you find a code for my briefcase? Sure thing, chair guy. Okay, what's the first number? How many chairs were in Coop's house? That was two. Okay, now second number. How many gorgeous chairs were in Flurry's house? Uh, more. Six. Okay, now the third number. How many Mario's chairs were in Don Bianca's office? There's two. Okay, okay, finally, here we go, last number. How many credible chairs were in Toodle's house, Parsley Heights? Uh, five, if you count the garden chair. Ah, it opened, yes, thank you so much. May I, maybe I could keep my job. I'll try to remember it from now on. Hold on a second. Excuse me, good sir. Huh, what? Sorry. We're gonna combine my company's famous hot sauce with this Stan's hot dogs. We were going to call it the hottest dog. I was sure it'd be a hit. No, that's a horrible name. Huh? I shouldn't give up so easily. Oh, no, you, you shouldn't give up. You should not give up. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll do it. I just have to convince the hot dog guy. I'm on it. I won't leave this place until I convince him. Wow, thanks for all your help. Here's your reward. What? Your inventory is full. Well, I'll leave it here in case you pick it up. Anytime. It's my company's top item, our famous hot sauce. Uh, I'll have tons of stuff. So I have tons of the stuff. So just ask me if you want some. See you later. Yeah, now we got access to the freaking hot sauce. And now we can make a lot more things. Oh, yes. Definitely want to, I definitely want to get rid of something for this. So we did unlock the art gallery for chapter six. So that means we have all the star pieces we could have gotten. So we, we didn't miss a single one. So here's the little, there's some fresh art here. Very nice. We got day, dawn, uh, day, dusk, and nighttime. Hmm, day, dusk, and nighttime. Sunset, beautiful sunset, heat waves, all that stuff. Yep, yep, the stage, of course. Uh, what is this? What is this? I don't know. What, what am I? Oh, it's a different cars. The, 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 the design of different cars. What the heck is that? Oh, Mario's mustache looks like a, a, a creepy smile in that picture there. All right, so now we got this. Okay, Parsley Heights. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Parsley Heights. Oh my goodness, look at Toodles. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, no alternate designs for Pennington. Oh, Rat Guy was a good different design. They made him more cartoony instead of realistic. Oh, Zip Toad was meant to be blue. Wow. So now that we have access to hot sauce and pasta, Hey, one pasta has 50 coins. Oh my god. Luckily, I only need three pastas. We are going to get cooking. So I need to buy a few of these and we'll get started cooking. Oh man, and then we'll have filled out every single recipe. And with that, 
That is the last thing we have to make ever. Unless I want to make more stuff. But with that, the whole entire recipe list is completed. 58 out of 58. We have made everything. I have made everything. This is the first time I've ever made everything. Look at this. Oh, man. Also, if we check the shop next door, Luigi's book, the next volume. Might as well support our brother, but not read it because I don't care about it. Professor Flanky has to be done with his research by now. Let's go check. Um, no. Congrats, you cook it. Oh, I was about to say I was hoping something special would happen, but hey, looks like something special does happen. You've learned all of Zesty's recipes. Her menu is not complete, so all your meals can be mighty tasty and mighty mighty too. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special reward, the cooking trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself. Show it off to your friends. You've earned the right to brag. Ooh, the cooking trophy, a trophy given to those who have completed every recipe. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh. All right, anyway, we got some more troubles to do. Next, I, I need my magazine from Toodles. I lent, my ma I lent a magazine to Miss Jolene, and now I can't, and now I need it back, and rather quickly. Please meet me in my vacation home in Parsley Heights, would you? You wonderful trouble solver. If you return my magazine to me, I'll be thank you with a member's card to the Piante Parlor. Oh yeah. Good old spray here. Oh my goodness, I would do anything for you. Will you accept my request for aid with my little trouble? You delightful man, you. I've just decided I very much want to read a magazine I lent to Jolene. But she lives in Glissville, and that is very far from here, as you know. Could you go get it for me, you resourceful wizard, you? Jolene should be in a pronouns office in Glip Pit. Thanks. You're fabulous, dear. Oh, yeah, we got it. You! Out of the way! Jolene's just inside. Jolene! You will give Poodles her magazine back right now! Do you need something? Hmm? Toodles' magazine? Oh, yes, I know that one. All right, all right, I'll return it soon. No, she wants it right now! Hmm? Have to return it now? But that magazine... Okay, fine. Give me a moment. Don't get the wrong idea. I borrowed this magazine as a promoter. That's all. I needed to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I follow fads or anything. You got a rat's leg magazine! Magazine that Jolene returned. Deliver the toodles. Oh yeah, we got your magazine. Did you get the magazine from Jolene? You wonderful man, you. Yes, we did. Wrestling magazine. This, yes, this is the magazine I lent to Jolene. All right, you are a true hero. Thank you. Here's my thanks to you. We got a platinum card, members card. Unless you played a boat game. Ooh, I don't think I ever played that one. I don't know what that one is. This magazine is very popular among certain celebrities. Everyone who is everyone who is anyone has been spotted in a cafe with it under their one arm. You solved the trouble. Now that we have the platinum card for the boat game, hey Stop Bianca! <laughs> hey, it's you again. Looks like we kinda owe you one. So yeah. Thanks. Alright. Oh, Mara, that card, you got a member's card. Okay, I'll prepare a mini game. You can play with the member's card. How exciting. You can play the boat game. So, we're going to play the boat game at the right get more token. Oh, the boat game? In this game, you become a boat and dodge obstacles as you sail to the finish. You'll sail forward to automatically. You'll sail forward automatically, but you can lower your speed by tilting below in the opposite direction. The current speed. Your, your cur the current will speed up during the second lap, so steer carefully. The faster you finish, the more piantas you'll win. Hit the any obstacles, however, you'll lose piantas instead. If you don't finish the race within a minute and a half, you'll get a game over, so be careful, but do it quickly. Okay, it'll cost you 10 piantas. Wanna play? Yeah! Uh, even, in the, even when I played the original, I don't think I've ever played this one before. Okay, stay on your toes. So, I'm about to experience this for the first time ever, so let's see what the heck this is about. How easy is it to earn Biantas in this game? Whoa, whoa, boat game. It's whirlpools. Oh man, all right, here we go. 
go. Okay, can I go? Okay, I can't control going faster. I can only control going slower. Which is something. Oh! I thought I thought I thought it was like a, a circular thing. I didn't know it was a oh. Oh! I, I didn't know I had to like go to the other side of the freaking thing. Oh man, oh I I'm definitely gonna fail this one. So now I gotta do this. There we go. Alright, okay, okay. I guess it's not that bad once you really get the hang of it. Yeah. One beat up. Oh my god. I'm losing I'm losing piantas. No! Oh my goodness. Man, does that mean if does that mean Poodles could have played this and they would have turned her into a boat? That's probably what that means. Oh, oh, I really, I, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh my, oh no. Oh, I keep thinking I can jump, but no, you, I cannot jump. Okay, new record. One minute, 11 seconds, and 13 milliseconds. 13. Oh, I got minus 15? Dang, I could have gotten, a, oh my gosh, I could have gotten a lot. So if you're pretty good at this, you can get a lot of piatas from this. Next up, we got get these ingredients. I need I, I need some ingredients for cooking. Food that ravishes the senses. I need three things: a golden leaf, mystic egg, and kill mango. I'll be I'm waiting at Airport Excess Express for your for your very prompt help. One second, I got trouble. Oh yeah. So I do already have a golden leaf in here. So that's a plus. And we got an egg. And there's the mango. I need to get on a train. Would you like to board the rug port? Uh, no, I just want to go on there and talk to someone and get out. But no, we have to ride the train in order to talk to them. Gosh, freaking thing. On a boat! Whoa, who are you? I boarded this train after saying a teary goodbye to my boyfriend. I wonder if he ran after the train as it left. Yeah, right. It's nice to think about such romantic things, but they never happen. Oh, she's so cute. How's it going, my favorite witch? Welcome. Okay, all right. I have your ingredients. Hello, yes, hello to you. Thank you for accepting my request. I need three ingredients. A golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. Each one has an exotic taste and aroma that will enhance my mushroom dishes. Have you found them for me? Yes, I did. We got golden leaf. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's a shiny golden leaf. This is it. Thank you very much. Mystic egg. Ah, oh, it's a puzzling mystic egg. This is it. Yeah. And the kill mango. Ah, oh, that colorful kill mango. This is it. There. Now I have all the ingredients. They call, they call to my plate and my skill begging me to turn them into delicacies. Thank you so much, my friend. This is your reward. 40 coins. Yay! You solved the trouble. Let's see how the ghost is doing. Ghost! How you doing, buddy? So, how are things? Oh, okay. This is brand new to the remake. The fact that when you choose rest, you can wait until Riverside Station or Rugport. Or if we were going to Posse Heights, it would be Riverside Station or until Posse Heights. In the original, you would have to you would have to rest, and then it'll take you to River Stage, and you have to rest again to get a report. That that right there, that is cool. I like that they did that, man. A lot more convenient. And as for the last trouble, important thing from Frankie. I'm looking for something. I can't say exactly what here, but I can tell you in person. I'll be waiting on the West Side report. You do me a favor. And I'll thank you for uh, with a member's card for Peon to follow. Oh, another another card. What other kind of game will we play this time? Frankie, my boy. Uh, uh, oh, he probably just said where to meet him, and I've completely forgot. There he is. Why weren't you in your room? You taking my trouble? Well, I'm glad it's somebody tight-lipped. That's all. See, after running from Kyoki, I lost my wedding ring. Believe that. 
and I can't really look for it in front of Francesca. You gotta, you gotta find it. I know I lost it after, after I got back in Rockport, so it's somewhere in town for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling I love you a billion times. So you gotta do this. Alright, I don't remember this trouble. I, I don't even remember where it would be, actually. Uh... Huh. My f my first thought would be the dock. Oh, speaking of the dock, Rat Boy. Yeah, how's the investments going? Ah, uh, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? Oh yes, I remember you. Hi. Hi. I did it. I totally struck oil. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! So good. There were times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but, but, but I never lost sight of the dream. And one day, I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario. You sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan with a little more just to show my appreciation. Please take this 600 coins. Ooh, these sounds coins. Yeah. Boy, thanks for everything. Now, now you have some capital to start your own adventure. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday just like I did. And also, I... I kept the journal of my trip. You want to read it? Oh my goodness. Uh. Sure! The night before. I'm finally off tomorrow. I filled my pack with cheese. I'm ready to go. My to-do list is crossed off. I owe so much of my investors. Not just money. The old get rich quick dream. But this is different. I have a reason. See, I owe it to my hometown. It's cold there. People are constantly shivering. If I find oil and send it there, then people can use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and them happy. It seems to be a perfect goal, right? I've always, always had this dream since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is a big part of it too, but who doesn't want money? Money, money, cover me with it, please. Ah. Well, enough for tonight. Hey, yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Read another? Nope, I'm good. I see. Well, I'll just be here and think about what to do next. Say hi anytime. Oh, yeah. So I would think that maybe he would drop his ring over here. Also, I've, that's a, I've never done anything with that rat guy before. That's my first time seeing what he does. Apparently, yeah, you get, you get a bunch of free money. Heck, yeah. So I was looking back here and look at the top right corner. How am I supposed to get that? Unless... Yeah, it's right there. Oh, I do remember this one. Oh, we gotta do some cool platforming. Yeah, I don't know how we got it up here, but we want to stand on this. Just like walk across. There we go. You got away ring. A symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. <laughs> Heck yeah. I remember having a lot more trouble with getting that ring as a... Uh, I, think I, I think I did do that quest as a kid, but... I remember having a lot more trouble getting that. I got your ring, buddy. You found it. Yes, I did. Here you go. My ring. Thanks, Mario, from the bottom of my heart. Now take this reward. You got the gold card to play a two-mode game. I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to look at her in the eye lately. I kind of miss her now. So if you excuse me, Franny. Oh, it calls her Franny. Okay. Oh, Mario, that card, you got a member's card. Okay, I'll prepare a main game where you can play. That's a card, how exciting. We can play a tube game. All right, so this one is kind of like a boat one, except we're a tube. We got dodge obstacles and stuff. So this is another one of those times where I'm playing this for the very first time ever. So I've never played whatever the heck this is. The tube game, here we go. So I gotta get there fast. I got a minute and a half to do it, here we go. Oh. Uh, that Pianta thing scared me. Oh, well, you know what? This ain't bad. Well, I, I freaking love the colors. Ooh, look at that. Apparently, if I fall off, bad things happen. Okay, I got, I got the double coin right there. No! Ooh! 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 I almost messed that up right there. Ah! Oh, 
no, I wasted so much time. Ah. Uh, and I'm missing all these coins, but speed is key. That's the key to this. Speed. Doesn't matter how what, what the coins I get. All that matters is getting there quickly. Boom. Wait. Boom. New record. 52 seconds. That's what I like to see. I did fall off once, so I'm going to get a penalty for that. But I wonder how big the penalty is. Minus 10. That's crazy. Okay, okay. That's another. If you're pretty good at that, you can get a, a bunch. And with that, that is all the troubles we can do for now. No available trouble press. Oh, yeah. Now, we're going to do something special this time. I have put Joey into peril, and I am going to do the Pit of 100 Trials for, like, the third time. Well, the four, really the fourth time, but I'm going to do this because, if you if you remember, I said this before, uh, a few episodes ago, we, ju we just whacked Wacka a bunch, and I saw this in a short, apparently... I don't, I, the only thing I saw was Wacka in the pit. I don't know where he is. I'm going to find him. And something special is supposed to happen. Because it, I mean, we whacked him a bunch and he stopped appearing. So he probably went somewhere. Where did he go? I saw the thumbnail of him in the pit somewhere. So we're going to try to find him. What's up? I'll move her. A few things, blah, blah, blah. Get the dungeon, blah, blah, blah. I can pay uh, 300 coins to go 50 levels down. And that is what we are going to do. And also, I'm going to show off how powerful Joey is in peril. Uh, so as our first... Uh, oh, nope. Never mind. Not here. For our first opponent, let's show off how strong Joey really is. All we got to do is hit him with a little bit of stampede. For 4 FP, because I got two flower savers on. And here's how much damage we're looking at. Now, I think I did the math on that. That right there is 39 damage. We could just blast through all these levels. Oh, man. And I should probably mention, I'm only able to do that much damage because of two badges in case you didn't know power rush p and mega rush p power rush p increased type power by two when your partner has five hp or less mega rush p it increased type power by five when your partner has one hp left and since joey's always going to be at one hp whew, i can just blast through all of these all right i'm on level 87 i think 87, I think. This is, I think this is a good time to use our new special move. Has a chance of defeating your enemies in a single blow. And it only costs two SP. This was my favorite freaking special move when I was a kid. Especially when I was a kid, when I did that pit on the trials, this move helped me get through a lot. It's basically like Flurry's Gale Force, but stronger, I guess. So press buttons in order as they appear on screen. Why? Uh huh. 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 Uh one thing that's different that I realized that's different from the remake and the original, it used to go, it used to go flash, 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 and then it'll do the thing. So I guess they only made it happen uh, one flash, just because people might be like epileptic or something. Anyway, kind of just murder these guys. This right here is gonna be a level up because we got an amazing Daisy, dead in one hit. Oh man, look at that! So many star points. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a level up. Uh, I might, I might go for BP here, because huh, why not? And there, I think there are more amazing daisies in the '90s. That's where I am right now in the '90s. So of course, I'm gonna go for BP. So of course, at the level up, I have to get Joey into peril again. So this is what the trial stew looks like. So I'm gonna use trial stew on him. Oh, 
he's in down to one HP. Oh man, and I got zero FP, and now I just run away. And then I just gotta eat something delicious, and we'll be back on track. How about let's see, mm, whack a bump on Mario? There we go. So here on level 94, we've got two amazing daisies. So this is going to be another level up. I'm going to have to put him into peril again. Dig. Of course, I'm going to go BP again. Because why would I go away for anything different? Look at how many stars. Imagine if I, I I accidentally forgot to get the, uh, the charmer lady. Imagine if I got double star points right there. That would have been crazy. Oh, man. Oh, going for BP again. Yet another level up. There are two, another two amazing dangers in this one. Gosh dang. Gonna go for BP. We love the BP. But I ran out of trial stews. Hmm. That means I think the next battle is the last battle before level 100, I believe. Yep, yeah, this level right here is 99. I'm gonna have to do this one legit. Oh man. And with that, made it to level 100. And apparently, there he is. Um, Gubella, who the heck is this? <laughs> That's a rare waka. I don't see, you don't, I don't think you see many of his kind anymore. Nope. If you whack a whack a the Java whack a bomb, you can either eat them or sell them for a high price. Did you hear me when I said those critters are rare, right? Just checking because that means you should not whack them. You do understand that, right, Mara? Well, this is what happens when you do whack them. This is all I've seen. What I was talking about earlier, I've only seen this picture. I don't know what happens. We're about to find out. Whack a who? I'm whack a. You sure traveled a long way to see me. It's kind of crept and dark down here. But it's also super quiet. Such a relaxing getaway spot, too. No. Ah. So that's why you're here. You want to play with me? In that case, let's play. But bam. Uh oh. Oh no. I made him so mad. You cannot flee this fight. Oh. Oh my God. Go Bella. What is that? What is going on here? Oh man, they made Wacka a freaking boss battle. Wait, the only wait. Oh, I thought oh, there's a, a, a hundred. That's Wacka. That's how pretty rare. They're pretty rare, but you can also find them hiding in a key. You got match HP of one hundred and eight, an attack of def attack of ten, and defense of one. I never expected to run into one of these guys all the way down here. When he's attack when he's attacked, he'll drop a whack a bump. Then he'll use that bump for a powerful attack of his own. That means we should try to use as few attacks as possible to keep him from dropping dropping those whack a bumps. Seriously, I never expected to fight a whack a it's so hard to tell what they're thinking. I bet he gets real scary when he's mad, but I hope we don't find out. Oh no. Time to boost that defense. There we go. Plus four, plus three. All right, that'll, it'll help. That'll help. Okay, what does he do? What does he do? Oh, God. Oh, six. Dang, that would have done, that would have done nine or something. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, boost sheet is definitely going to help here. And, and, uh, Flurry's ability will also be a big help. So he's, she said less, does, does that mean, does each multi bonk count as an attack or just this? Does it just count as one attack? About to find out. Oh god, stop! 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 Oh no! Okay, so. Oh god, is he gonna use all those in one turn? Oh, please tell me he can go to sleep. Please. Oh no, there's a red one! Oh no, oh, that's 60. Oh no. Oh, he. What he uses them to heal? Oh, okay, okay. So only you. Okay, he only uses one bump per turn. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's go for multi bonk again. A 
Okay, so he can only have a max of eight on the field, which is pretty good. Ooh. Oh, too early, too early. Okay, he's at 34, but he's gonna heal again. Which is... Whoa. Okay. Oh, he does use them all. Oh, God. Oh, God, go Bella, no. Oh, my God. 20. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, what the heck is that? What is going on here? Oh, no. Okay, go Bella's dead. Uh, Flurry? Uh, I'm gonna need your help here. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna need your help. I think it's time to heal. Don't you dare. You can't do this to me. Not right now. He does throw all of them. Oh, no. Okay. I could go for power lift, boost the events. Or I could try to heal. No, no, power lift, power lift. I got a bunch of ultra mushrooms. I'll just make Flurry have her do that next turn. Plus three and plus four. Yeah, we're looking good. All right, Flurry. I'm gonna need you to heal. Actually, he only, he's only got one bump. So I wonder what, what he could do if he has no bumps, though. But, uh, oh, maybe Bushi, Bushi, Bushi? Oh, Mario? I, I like the music going on here. Hmm. What if I eat a whack a bump right in front of him? Ooh, mmm, delicious. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Eating your bumps. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh. He's trying to hurt himself to get more bumps. This guy, he, this guy was crazy enough to blow himself up. Oh my gosh. Hey, a coin. Don't really want that, but... Eh. Okay, I think he's dead. Oh no, oh, almost. Yeah, okay, if he throws those right now, it might be over. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, just in case Flurry doesn't kill, I can probably kill him right now, but just in case, just in case, I'm gonna make Mario Bushi defied. All right, here we go. Oh, Flurry's dead. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just that. I'm just that guy. I am just that guy. Oh, I am that guy, pal. I'm, I, I am that guy. So this is the final, final, final boss, really. Because you, I think you can only beat, you can only fight him if you beat Bone Tail. All right. Goodbye, Glacka. It's over. 30 star points. Oh, man. That's our points. Whoa, a golden one. Like a who? Guess I lost. But that was fun. Hope to see you again sometime. You got a gold Wacka Bump. A shiny Wacka Bump obtained from Wacka. It sadly cannot be eaten. Is it like an important item? Or is it? Oh, it's like, oh, it's like a badge. Like, hey, you fought Wacka and killed him. That's what we like to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I believe that is everything that we can possibly do in the Pit of 100 Trials. We have completed all the things we can do. Anyway, now it's time to talk to Frankly, because he's got something important to tell us. Also, Gobella telling us that, oh, Professor Frankly must be done by now or whatever. That's brand new to the remake. I don't remember being told that in the original. Oh, excellent timing! I finally have it, Mario! I found a way that just might get you to the moon! You must go to Far Outpost and must use the cannon there and it will blast you! Uh, hello? We're using a cannon to get to the moon? Isn't that, like, dangerous? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that could launch anything, anywhere, even to the moon. Oh! Great. Sounds super, really. So, where is this Far Outpost, anyway? I believe there's a pipe of Far Outpost somewhere beneath Rockport, but I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, 
I believe it was hitting for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an ultra hammer to get it. An ultra hammer? Well, it's party time then. We already have one of those. Yep, that's right. We got it. Oh, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that ultra hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost, then get to it. You got it, Professor. Far Outpost, here we come. Oh yes, one more thing you should know. Be, uh, one more thing you should be aware of. The bubbles who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They might not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Get that last crystal star. Okay. Yeah, the bob -oms over there are um, racist or something against people other than bob -oms. The way to Far Outpost is this way. If we come down here and go to the left, if you remember, there is a small metal block here that we couldn't get past before. So here, we can break it. And then boom, that's the pipe. But you might also notice that there's a little pole up there. Yeah, I forgot all about this. So if we stand on this little X, no, don't touch me. If we stand on the freaking X, like this, then on this, we can go up here and then we can climb across and get something pretty special. And I don't remember what it is, but let's find out. Come on, there we go. We get the flower saver P badge. We can save even more flowers points. Heck yeah. And with that, we're ready to go to Far Outpost in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Always appreciate you watching. We'll go to Far Outpost and find this cannon. Have a good one.